We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Hope everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Friends and family on Discord and Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Let's pick up for business. Okay, everyone, we are marking up LTC USD Litecoin. Let's take a look at what's going on with LTC. So LT started off back in August of 2016. So the market pushed up from an area of support. Came back down with a retest here. Pushed up. Major area pattern. So this right here is showing that the market pushed all the way up here. Was able to close out. Market closed out here. Second candle form. Wicks came all the way up to the top. Was able to close out. Close out down. Market pushed down. Railroad tracks. Showing that the market is maybe reversing and that's exactly what the market did. So once the market also will be up a double top. So first leg, second leg. So that's a resistance area. Market tried once to break out, twice can't break out. Market pushed down to second level lower lows. Came back for a, a retest after the double the double the double top. So the double top happened like this, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, after the double top, which is an M pattern. A retest come out, happens, and once the retest happens, the market drops. And that's what happened here. The market dropped down back to the previous areas of support. We have the morning star. So the morning star is the doji right here, which is the market came down to the bottom here. The doji came, which is doji meaning indecisive. So the market didn't know what it was going to do. The market wasn't sure it was going to go down. Sideways or up. It chose to go up. So we also we got we also received the engulfing pattern that engulfed the two patterns on side of or the two candles on side of the of the engulfing pattern, which was the two dojis. So once this third candle engulfed the two dojis, the market pushed all the way up. And then we had another pattern that showed the market is going to turn around. Besides seeing the engulfing pattern, which is a red candle overlapping over the green candle, the bears over the bulls. We have an antenna very long here. Wasn't able to close out at the top here, so the market closed out right here with this, this antenna. So the antenna closed out here, but the antenna went up to the high here. But the body of the candle closed out here, showing that the market may have a, re a reversal. And that's what happened. The market reversed. Plus, it showed that we had an engulfing pattern, so the market shot back down. So from here, we have a pattern, double bottom, first leg, and second leg, third leg, fourth leg. And here comes a retest right here. After the retest, we got an engulfing pattern, and the market pushed all the way up, higher highs. Major areas of the market may be turned around for LTC USD. It may be a turnaround. This market may be coming right back down for a drop to be continued. Um, to go back here, I'm going to clear some of this markups up. So after we got that big push up to the top, the market came back down. There also was an overall pattern right here. First leg, right here, first leg, second leg. We got the third leg. We got the fourth play. What is that? Double bottom. So, go back to what I was saying about this reverse may happen. So, this reversal may happen because of the retest of the double bottom. So, we do know once we get the W for the double bottom, a retest will happen. And that's what may try to happen now. The retest may be trying to happen somewhere here. And then once we get that retest, and then the market going to push up. Higher highs and break up new levels. That can't happen. That may happen. Not too sure yet. We only we only just on a high time frame right now. So we can take a look. See what's going on. 
So let's mark this up. So market structure, we can see that we are in the overall trend. So we're looking for price to return. Let's take it all the way up to the top of the wick. Not much to work with. So our overall trend is an uptrend. Market may be reversing though. So let's grab some SR lines. Really not too much to work with on the opposite side. So we can grab this peak right here. We can grab this peak right here. We can grab this peak right here. Another level up is another peak right here. That's how far we're going to go down with this one. And we have an inverted peak on the way back up. And that's what we have to work with right now, but we need something else to work with, so we're going to play with these wicks. Let's tag some of these wicks. Okay, so let's head down a time frame and see if we can see anything. What's going on in the market? Okay, so price is respecting our uptrend. We got some leakage. So all we got to do is pull our trend line down a little bit. Let's see if we want. Bring it up. All right, beautiful. So let's add more SR lines. Let's look for more peaks. There's a peak right here. There's really not too much to tag in here. We tagged all our peaks and inverted peaks and wicks on the other time frame. It lined up perfectly. We have a peak right there. We have another inverted peak here. And let's look on the other side, see if we see anything left over. And we left a peak up here. And we have an inverted peak here. No, it's not. Right. So that's it with the SR lines. So let's see if we can read the market, see what's going on. So whatever's going to what the market's going to do, the market's trying to do right here. So it's the high high area, and this is the lower low where the market's at. So whatever the market's going to do, the market's going to do in this area right here all in here okay so let's read the market see what's going on so what i see here the market pushed up so we have a level of support resistance support sr sr so market pushed up came back to retest pushed up came back to retest once twice full breakout so what pattern is that? Double bottom. What comes at the double bottom? Market push up at the double bottom. And at the double bottom, the retest comes. After the retest, the market pushes up. So this market, if this, so if this candle closes out here, the market can do a railroad track and go off and go up. If not, it can consolidate sideways. If not, it can drop down one more level, play around here and go back up. So whatever it's going to do, it's going to do in this area. So let's take it to so let's take it to daily time frame and see if we see anything. Okay, so I see the same thing in on the earlier time frame. So double bottom, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest once. So 
So this is at the retest, the market pushes up. And sometimes we get one push up to the top, sometimes we get three, sometimes four. So we got one, two, three pushes to the top. Every mark is at higher highs. We have um, wicks here that the market didn't close out. We have long wicks here showing that the market didn't close out at this end. So the market pushed down. So it's the drop. And then now we got to figure out what's going on here. So this is the retest area. So the market is trying to retest something in this area here. So it's trying to retest the top of that double bottom. Market comes back down, retest, can come back up, can come back down, and come back up. It can drop down to another level, which better come back in this level if it wanted to, and then bounce back up. So what I do know, what we do know is that the market is headed down for that retest. So the market, the lowest the market's gonna go is this area here. If it breaks through there, the market's headed down. It can bounce. If it breaks out of here, the market's going up. So the market may be in some type of range right now. So this could be the first leg of a double bottom. You know, we don't know. It could be it could be a double top. It could be a double top. And we get the double top, it's an M. So if we get that retest to the bottom, the market pushes down. So, or it could just consolidate <clears throat> and consolidate side by side. So what I would do is just wait around for the market to do what it do. You guys experience you know what you're doing. You know you can sell here, buy here, sell here, buy here out here until you get that full breakout. So let's say market price is doing a double bottom retest when you get the push up to the top like we always what's the time getting after the retest of a double bottom. Let's see how many pips we looking at. So let's say the market did it right here we caught the move. How many points? So price will try to return to somewhere back here. So, I had to put something on the table. If we did see the turnaround at this area here and the market comes up, I feel like the market can come up this high, up to this level here. If not, midpoint here, lowest level, I will go here. But for right now, let's play around with here. Now, <clears throat> the stop loss, I will pull it this far back down, is the reason why these wicks is very long here. So we got this one that dropped all the way back down here. So if I put this stop loss on, I put the stop line. If I place the stop line, again, I place the stop line right below entry line, the TP, you can clearly see that this wig would have wicked me. Was, was, can, this wig, wig, if it was a trade, it would wick me out. Um, that means a, a, a previous candle that can be forming can wick me out. So you want to extend it down. So if I extend it down, I can go as far as right beneath the wick or further down. If not, take it a little further down. Me, I like to play the safe game, so I would definitely extend it. So just in case another candle form in this area here, and say it drops a wick, in this case it will drop a little bit further. Most of the time I am used to seeing three wicks dropping down, one, two, and a third one can drop down. Sometimes it's just one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, it could be four. Sometimes it can be light up a whole bunch of dojis down here, be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I would definitely extend it because we can get that stop. We can get stopped out. But if not, 
you know, do what you can. So this is a great trade for LTC Litecoin, LTC USD. We are look like we are in some type of range. Uh, it's headed to maybe a little bit lower lows before it turn around and verse back to the upside. If not, the market may drop all the way back down to previous areas of lower lows and return back to that double bottom that we did find in the time frame. LTC USD. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. Also, guys, we do trade the breakout retest pattern for all the trades that will be taken. For example, if you look at here, if the market is, is in, headed in the downtrend here, we wait for price to break our SR line. So this line is our SR line. We wait for price to come down, break our SR line. Once price breaks our SR line, it will come back to retest the resistance of that SR line, and it drops down. So after it touches the SR line, look for entry where we can take it to this end. Okay. And also for pattern cheat sheets, please study your cheat sheets. This will help you understand the pattern, understand the market on how to take entry, how to take your trades. For example, this is a triple top. Triple top is basically the double bottom. Double bottom showing, I would say triple top, more like triple top uh, if it's a resistance line here. Market coming up to that resistance line once. It's not able to break. It came back a second time. It's not able to break. Uh, it came up a third time. So it's, if it doesn't break, that means it's going to drop down. Drop down to support. If it breaks this level of support, drop down further. Now we see like three cones. Okay. Study your pattern, guys. Forex pattern cheat sheets on Google. This is the stuff that's going to get you to the next level. Okay, everyone. Cam Jones.